Hello everyone, this is KJ4YZI Ham Radio Concepts along with... Hi, John, KM4MCK. And this is just nothing more than you can't go any... What do you do when there's a COVID-19 coronavirus, John? What do you do? Sanitize. <laughs> Sanitizer. We're doing nothing more than playing with antennas. John's having a blast. John's like, man, I'm in an HOA and I'm making more contacts than people that are out in the middle of nowhere. Like, he's got antennas set up. We're playing. Try. He wanted to try all this stuff. He wanted to see it, and I wanted to see it too and try it out. So, you having fun, John? I had a great time. Okay, so we have another video here. Uh, a couple products that I purchased, and then after this video, I'm giving them all away. To you guys. You want some antennas? Watch the following video with the giveaway. Let's see what we got here. I have two devices here from Chameleon Antenna. Now, I have had multiple questions about this. I have been playing with my Empass now that I got and I borrowed. John's got an Empass coming. And I had some people ask about this. You may have seen in a previous video where I showed the MFJ Octopus. And it uses ham sticks for, uh, you know, multiple dipoles on one, you know, setup. So with the questions that I had about this, what I did, and to show you, I purchased these about a month ago, okay? There's the invoice. I purchased these, and I'm going to give them away. Why? Because right now, I'm trying to find some giveaway stuff, and I figured, hold that, do something with that. I figured, you know what, my fans, you know, I've always done, try to do giveaways with sponsors and stuff, and then uh, this is on me, guys, okay? And I'm going to show you something that I'm going to pair with these that I also bought, and guess what? They're all getting given away too. So we're gonna check out what this is. This is two devices or two units by Chameleon. I can't even get the box closed. Help me out, John. Call me so, <laughs> so I have the Chameleon Quad One. That is a two-band hamstick base, and I also have the Spider ASB. Now this is uh, both of these are gonna be in the same video because. It's really not beneficial for me to do a video on each one. So I'm going to take these apart, take them out of the box, and hook them up. We're going to make, John's going to make a couple of contacts over here. We, he's pulling everything out. He's like, man, I got antennas. We got stuff. He's <laughs> just wanting to make antennas or videos or contacts. So we're playing around. So we got his 7300 out here. We got his 9700. Oh, no, I'm sorry, 7300 and 706. And uh, we're going to fire these things up and uh, see how they work. And then in the future, watch the video. I'm going to give these away. Okay, John's ashamed of his portable table. <laughs> John's ashamed of his portable table here. But anyways, here we go. So let me open these up here. Can you see, John? Yep. You get, okay. So we're going to start with the quad one, okay? And um, I'll take these apart and show you. But the, 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 the main thing about this in Chameleon, you know, I am just impressed with the quality of this stuff, man. And this one is, we're gonna show you this. This is the quad one, very simple. You mount this on a tripod, okay? And you use two sets of ham sticks, okay? One set on the red, one set in the blue. And basically you can have two ham sticks for 40 to make a 40 meter dipole, two ham sticks for 17. Uh, and, and then you can even rotate it on a tripod. If you look over here, he's got one of these tripods. I could literally set this thing up you know, with the mount like this, put it up, and it's great for portable, it's great for people with the HOA. You can set this up and have two resonant bands at one time on this device, okay? Um, you just simply SO239 into it, mount the hardware. I'm gonna take this apart and show you, but they're very big on the quality of these because this is, you know, die cast aluminum or, you know, uh, lap edged aluminum, and they're really solid. They're meant to be made outdoors. This is a far superior than uh, similar products that have the ham sticks mounts, okay? Um, and then again, if you want more bands, let's say you want something that does more. Well, this is now called the Spider. Now look at this. Four ham sticks at one time, okay? So color coded, and the reason for that is because you have a dipole, you have one ham stick uh, on the center of your coax and one on the, the, the braid of the coax makes a half wave dipole. So one, two, three, four, right? Can you tell John the colors? You see, right? Yep. You, you understand it, right? It's not really that hard to understand. Same thing, comes with the mounting hardware, okay? The thing about both of these and all the other stuff I showed you with um, Chameleon, this is all made, you wanna get me in camera? Okay. This is all made in the US. Now, I've had a lot of subscribers and a lot of people with the whole Chinese and the junk thing and stuff, okay. There's a place for cheaper Chinese stuff for people that can't afford it. 
But if you have anything to differ, I'd love to hear it in the comment on how Chameleon makes all this stuff. The impasse, they make it all there in Nevada, Reno, Nevada. It's all made there, okay? Like 4% of it's not, maybe the screws or something, whatever. So that's just a plus right there. For those guys that always, you know, you've been attacking me for years. Oh, it's a China. There you go. USA made, okay? To pair with this video, and this is going to be a separate video after this, I have in this box something that I wasn't aware of. Now, I, I saw these at Gigaparts and I, at, the store, at the website, and I didn't realize that they had them. These are all American-made hamsticks. Now, you may say, well, I got MFJ hamsticks, or I got these other Chinese hamsticks. Fine. They work. But to pair an all-American-made device here, I'm going to pair it with all American shark hamsticks. Now, if you haven't seen the shark hamsticks, JMKK4GGJ, he was well aware of them. He used to use the Lakeland or whatever they were. You can't get those anymore, they don't make them. I'm going to pair a set of two sets of hamsticks with each one of these when I give them away. So, this is on my dollar, and thank you for everybody at Patreon who's been providing and supporting over the years and the donations. That's how I'm able to buy this stuff and give it back to you guys, okay? So, we're going to take these out, and I'm going to show you. And um, one thing, when I bought these, I didn't realize, I guess they have a difference in packaging. And then they asked me, when I asked them, I said, what, what is this? And they said, well, let us know which packaging you like more. I kind of like the diamond plate, but that has nothing to do with the antenna. So what I have here is some antennas, okay? These are all American made. So I was inclined to look more on the internet and the company and check out shark antennas. Now these are available at Gigaparts. I got these from Chameleon Antennas where I bought these. The uh, shark antennas I bought at Gigaparts. Okay, and um, I have a selection here. So I have four different bands and again, we're gonna try a couple of them. The difference with these versus China made um, hamsticks, again, some China hamsticks are great. It just depends on what somebody wants and what they can afford. Tell me what you think as you take that apart. What do you think about the quality of it? Man, I was looking at these things. At first, I thought they were plastic, but it, it's, it's aluminum. Yeah, it's aluminum. <laughs> it's aluminum. So take, take the screws out. I don't even know how to take it apart. Is there, oh, they're black there. So as we've talked about in previous videos, while he's taking it apart, um, John lives in an HOA, and, uh, you know, he wouldn't have this out all the time like this. But we were just doing antenna demonstrations on a previous video with the Chameleon VHF UHF add-on kit and stuff. But if you look here... There's a way in certain HOAs to hide something like this spider or dipole. I mean, look, you know, if you're crafty, look over there. I can get that thing hidden in those trees. Sure I can. You know, that's kind of what I'm targeting right now because I hear a lot of people that say they can't put up an antenna in the HOA. I, I can tell you that in that tree over there, you can get that little uh, spider or quad with a couple hamsticks mounted on a tripod over there or a pole, and you can disguise it where nobody would see it. If this would fit in the attic and what it would do. Well, it may fit in the attic, yeah, but you had a lot of power noise in the attic. I did. And uh, so tell us about this, John. I, I have never taken one apart. What's that look like to you? Tell me, I, I want somebody to see, oh, it's a sales pitch. Okay, here. Tell no, me what I you mean, think about it. What does it look like? Um, I don't know a lot about this stuff. Aluminum housing. Uh, it looks like it's all stainless hardware. Um, heavy quality. It's not cheap. Are those soldered in there? Yes. They are. Yes. Yes, those are soldered. So basically, um, again, this is not magic. This is They're not saying there's something in here that's uh, magic. What they're saying is this is a nice quality, handmade, USA made in Nevada. And here's your feed point, your SO239 there. So you have the center, comes around to these four, and you have the ground or the counterpoise or the shield that comes around this side. So that's why they're color coded. Um, but uh, everything feel tight out of the box? Does it feel tight? Yeah, no. I, is there anything it's... loose? Does it rattle? Is it, I mean, you know? No. Yeah, what's nice? I, I've never seen I haven't taken it apart. You've seen it. It was new in the package, so. So there's the holes, and that's how you mount it, I guess. Okay. Well, well you're going to figure this out then, because I haven't touched this. So that's going to go, I guess, with screws. Yep. And it should be pretty quick to mount, right? Let's yep. give it a shot. Put the, don't lose the screws. Because this, this is, and don't scratch it. This is somebody's I'm giving away. So you're going to get that one. Can I you, enter? Can I answer the one? If you want to, sure, man. Everybody just. <laughs> I love to. I need to give back to these fans because these guys, these people, gals and guys watching, kids, everybody supports me and I love it. So the more that I can support back into the ham community, just like the Orlando Ham Fest, right? I had some nice vendors that were donating a lot of gear, ICOM and the ASU and stuff. Great stuff. But this is out of my pocket, guys, because I don't want you to say that 
Yeah. I'm not contributing back. What, what do you got smart to say, John? No, nothing smart to say. <laughs> but I'm looking at this, though, with the length of these ham sticks. Uh -huh. uh, this might fit in my attic, and I'd be curious how it worked. I know I got a lot of noise there, but I'd be curious to see if I was able to make contacts with it up in the attic, too. Maybe. Well, I, we'll try it another one because I don't want you to be throwing this dudes in the attic. I mean, somebody's getting this one. Yeah. But that's okay. Uh, you know, we'll get you one. We'll try it out. Can John figure this out without instructions? Nope. Do we have any idea how? Yeah, piece of cake. <laughs> okay, so in an effort not to open every hamstick, so some of them are new when I give them away, I'm going to only install two for a demonstration. Now, the way this works is this. Um, you can put, if you read the user manual on the Chameleon website, they will tell you that there are certain bands that are, I guess, third harmonic that may not play nice or cooperate with each other, such as if you put a set of 40 hamsticks on here and a set of 15 at the same time, that might cause a problem because uh, it'll try to resonate on 40 and on 15, third harmonic. Uh, so the way this works is when you have four hamsticks on here, it's only going to resonate when you're transmitting on that band. Right now I have 20 and 17 meter hamsticks on here. So if I keyed up and transmitted on 40, I'm sorry, 20, it's gonna resonate on the 20 meter hamsticks. And then I go down to 17, it resonates on 17. Um, the idea is you'll have four, four bands at one time, four resonant bands at one time, rotatable dipoles. So I could grab this pipe here and I can go like this if I wanted to, I could, you know, you're going to have about 1 to 2 dB of directivity off of the hamsticks, okay? So if you're looking at this like this, let's see, I put my hand here. You're going to have directional, directionality this way and this way. You see, broadside of the hamsticks. Uh, maybe some, not enough to where you would want to rotate it, but this, this right here is about mm, 8 feet off the ground, 9 feet off the ground on a tripod. And... Uh, I have a 20 and 17 there. So that's the idea. Now, when you put the hamsticks on here, you'll start with the lowest band first, and then tune, you know, tune the 80 meter hamsticks, then tune the 40 meter hamsticks, then tune the 20 meter hamsticks, and go up from the lowest band up. Um, another thing is the tuning between them won't affect the others. For instance, if I tune the 20 meter hamsticks, it's not going to change anything with the 17s. Uh, it's just because, you know, one's in, independent from the other. Uh, let's see, what else? The, uh, you know, overall the big footprint here, let's see, if I had all four of them, you know, it's a little bigger for an HOA. Some HOAs, maybe it's possible. Maybe it's just for small form factor. That's not really a big antenna. If you're in an area, well, you have a small backyard. You're not in an HOA, but you have a small backyard. That would fit in a lot of backyards, um, not even that high, you don't have to have it. Um, but you get the idea. So let's see if John's gonna tune around here and see if he hears anything here. We're kind of HF, HF'd out for the day, but let's see what we got here. Okay, got it. Kilo Alpha 2, Victor Kilo Yankee, thank you. You'll find slide number 204, 204. Listen to that noise, Oops. Listen to that noise reduction. Hit the noise reduction. Everybody says California. I guess it is, you never hear California. There's Los Angeles right there. Look at the bands here. Look at the signals. Tune around, John. Oh, yeah. Oh, ready on there? Oh, yeah. It's screaming. John, it doesn't look too bad out there, does it? I mean, maybe it'd be more noticeable in an HOA. Ooh, that's a, uh, go back. Slow scan TV. Wow, look at the waterfall today. Look at it. Oh, Trump turned on the bands for the coronavirus. Right, because everybody's home. They got nothing, nothing better to do but to sit on the bands. All right, Eric, very good. Uh, you're coming in about five, four, five, five down here in Florida. Um, and uh, I'm just uh, trying out this new antenna to see how it works today, and I came across your station. I heard the website, and I'll go ahead and check it out. Hi, right, this is Kilo Mike 4, Mike Charlie Kilo. I've got you in the logbook. 
John, we got a situation here. What's the situation, Eric? You've had more contacts today in an HOA than probably any other HOA person that you know. Probably. <laughs> We've had more radio. I didn't even get to bust out my QRP kit. I didn't get a chance to, to bust it out, but we've been playing with John 7300. What do you think about this antenna, John? I, I like it. It's not as uh, uh, portable as the Empath. Right. But the audio is good on it. I'm not sure it's meant to be that portable. Would no, you agree? Probably not. I'd like to see how that fit up in my attic. I think I think it's more or less for a small footprint than yeah. it is for for being portable like a chameleon. Right. I just assume, uh, you know, some people that are will not use the word HOA. We'll use the word small footprint. You don't have a size of a, a backyard like this, and you want to put something up. That's only two hamsticks or two sets. You do four there, and uh, not that big. You know, with a tripod, you, you bring it in over here in the, in the porch, you know, at night and set it up during the day or whatever. That is possible. Uh, so in the future video, like I said, stay tuned. I'm going to give this away. Uh, when I announce the giveaway, that's what I'm giving away. I have uh, two, four, two more in the box. That's six. And then, no, let's see, two, four, and then six, eight. So eight, eight hamsticks, uh, four sets. I'll give away two with each one. The Chameleon Quad, the Chameleon Spider ABS, um, really, really solid stuff. And uh, look for that video soon. Maybe I'll even give John's videos, uh, radios away. He don't want those anymore anyways. So thanks for watching. It's been uh, Antenna Day, a Chameleon Day here at, <laughs> at John's backyard. Say 73, John. Say goodbye. 73, guys. KM4 MCK. John's getting tired. He's been working HF all day long. It, it gets to the point where you get bored with it. It's like shooting fish in a barrel. I mean, me and the mobile on the way here, I was banging out DX contacts on the, uh, Spain and Ecuador and stuff. And at some point, you just get, when they're coming in like that, and you just get, <laughs> anyways, it's good stuff. So Florida is the place to be, I guess, uh, for HF. And um, these antennas are great. Love them. 7-3, guys. KJ4YZI.